Okay, JB, this is how I go about recreating your photograph. Um, this is your original photograph, and as you say, this side of the uh, photograph is very heavily shaded. Um, I don't know of any decent way you can change that. It probably is if you use Photoshop, but I haven't even got Photoshop, uh, so I'm just going to do it in Zara. Um, and this is the way I'll do it. Um, what I've actually drawn, and rather than watch me drawing it slowly, I'll uh, just put it in there and if we go um, to zoom in here you can see that I've just drawn a line around the pot because um, pots are important to uh, or family history and part of it so you don't want I don't want to destroy that um, so I've drawn this line and I'm just going to select the photograph and can go control K to clone it and then control shift B just to put it back um, so there's now two copies of the photograph one on top of the other plus this uh, shape that I cut around the pot um, so I was selecting two objects which is one of the photographs and the shape I cut out I'm going to go arrange combine shapes intersect shapes I go previous zoom I'll just move this away now you can see that that is just um, a pot on its own um, Control B to put it back and see you know, that that's just part of the photograph. I can take that back out again now. Right, the next thing to do is we've got to get rid of this part here, and the only way I can see of doing that is to um, to, to get a line about there and cut the photograph right down. Um, I don't know if that's over the top. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, but before I do that, there's this window that I want to um, take out. So I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to remove that line for a minute. And I'm going to get this window. Like that, and the window sill, like that. I'm going to go arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. So I'll just fill that with red, with no colour at all, just so you can see the part of the photograph that I've got. Again, I'm going to click the photograph, Control K. I think this is an operation I do a lot, then Control Shift B to put it back. Then, if you click on this, We've got two objects, arrange, combine shapes, intersect shapes. Then when I move that aside, you can see you've now got a window. Um, right, I'll put the, the line back in now. I'm going to select the photograph, go control, arrange, combine shapes, slice, I'm going to delete that part of the photograph altogether. Um, I'll leave this pot over here for the time being and I'll leave that over there. The next, so I'm going to have to rebuild the roof, rebuild this part of this wall here, and then rebuild the rest of this. So, how do I go about that? Um, right, we've got the window, let's get some of this um, cladding next. Um, I haven't got a lot of cladding room to work with. Um, shapes, previous zoom, 
and then I've got some cladding to rebuild this thing to the house with. Um, finally, we've got to get some roof parts as well. So, um, here we go. I'll be quite generous with this roofing bit because uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Go up a tour about there, I think. Just so you can see it again, red, right. Click on the photograph, control K, control shift back, click on that, arrange, combine shapes, intersect shapes, and I can move this along. So I'll move that along. One of the problems with that is this, this shading bit. Um, I don't know if we can possibly make that any darker. Just uh, this is just an experiment which I haven't tried before. Uh, let's give it stained glass. No, it's, it's not going to work. That um, so it's gone. Uh, just leave it like that for the time being. We'll have to just smudge it out afterwards. Um, so you've got that bit. Um, we can put this window in over here closer in you know the, the problem is we've now got the old window left and that's why I've done the cladding I'm just going to extend that cladding control shift back to put it back a bit um, I can actually move that to about the um, control K to clone that what I didn't realise is on. Got part of his shirt. I thought we'd missed that out. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just cut this down a bit. Do, 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 so we lose that part of his shirt. Uh, and here. part of his shirt in the photograph. Um, what size is that now that we can make that? Uh, that that's okay. Arrange, create bit that copy. here. I'm going to have to send it to back a bit, control shift back so it's behind the window. And then I can extend this. Oh, is this stupid bloody idea with the horizontal thing? I do dislike it. It's, it's not helpful at all. thing is it leaves gives more trouble than it than it creates. I don't know if I can get that down a touch. Yeah, so I've now got that, that, that. And if you bring in this here, control front, put it in the front, you're starting to kind of get a quite a good rebuild of it. Um, what else is needed is the end of the house needs to have um, this bordering on it. So I'll just go over here. selecting previous zoom again control clone control shift back to put it in the back select that bit arrange combine shapes 
intersect shapes. I've now got that shape there, which I can put, just move slightly like that, and then control shift back so it's behind the pot. I'll just move it a touch more. I'll bring this to the front, control F. What I'm not happy about there at the moment now is that they've still got this white bit of the corner here, so um, where the light was, uh, it still looks a bit odd, so I'm going to zoom into there. I'm just going to put a line approximately there, not that far in the middle. Uh, Arrange combine shapes slice. I'm going to delete that side. Control clone. Fit that there and flip it. And then just move it around a bit. It's width of 89.2. I'm going to make that. I just want to get this in whole pixels now. I'm going to make that 89, 89. And I want to make this 118. So we've got that, and I'm going to go over Arrange, Create Bit Map Copy, and I'm going to leave it with an alpha this time. Um, and I can then go delete that. Put that wherever we want, and um, I squeeze that out a bit further. Okay, so we've got most of this. Obviously, this gable end of the house isn't that big. I think the windows, the original windows, are about here, and let's move that down. Move that across. I think that's more like how the, about approximately of the house. Um, what I'm going to do now is go over to this side of the photograph and um, I want to get this kind of roof angle about right so the same roof angle exists. Um, I'm going to go, just want to make sure I'm working completely outside the picture. I am. Uh, that with red, right, control, clone with the main photograph again, control, shift, back, put it back one, select this shape, arrange, combine shapes, intersect shapes, so I've now got this, this piece of sky, it doesn't, doesn't look <laughs> much at all, it's just white on white at the moment, but I'm going to flip that, and then I'm going to move that along, say, to there, which um, gives you that part of the roof um, angle that you want. Um, I'm not going to worry too much at the at the moment about this roof line because the next thing I've got to do is get some shrubbery in this for the background. Right, so we want some shrubbery, shrubber, rubbery, how do we get shrubbery right? And once more, just this slicing and dicing all the time. Um, right, click on the main photograph, control clone, control shift B to put it to back. Arrange, combine shapes intersect shapes I'll send that com completely to the back by going control B um, I'm going to stretch that up a bit so those trees look as if they're a bit more too much now possibly just like that um, so then you, you've got pretty much what you want um, Angle of the roof 
so I'm just going to get that a bit like that. Okay. Now what I, what I do at this stage is getting virtually everything I'm quite happy with. Um, select and drag over the photograph. Um, about there, making sure it's in whole pixels. Um, if you get no fill and no line color, just go arrange, create bitmap, copy, true color, create. So there you've got a completely different photograph altogether. Um, I'm going to go edit to make cut that I'm just going to go into a new control V into a new section and um, what I'll finally want to do is just touch up some of these areas um, this bit here I particularly don't like um, and I'll see if I can get rid of that um, the, we need to go with the, with the effects tool with the camera tool uh, we need to go to this photo heel brush and just just heel along there as much as you can just trying to get rid of that line similarly I don't want this there See in, in general, you've you've got to, you've got still a bit more healing could be done there. Um, no, I didn't like that, that bit there. No, I don't want that. Okay. Um, and you could actually get rid of some of these that look repeating pattern over there. Just so just squeeze that down. Um, squeeze that down as well. Yeah, I think that's okay. It gets rid of that roof line. Um, so that's um, that's how far we can get with that now. Um, I'll just go arrange, create, bitmap, copy, true color, create. I'm going to select the one underneath it now and delete it. So that's the. Um, this line here probably looks a bit too sharp. Um, so what, what I'll do there is I'm just going to select just like that. Um, again, I'll give that a red line, and so you can see the area we're selecting. Let's go. Um, no, I'm not going to go like that. I'm just going to go like that and make sure it's whole pixels. I'm go arrange, create bitmap, copy, true color, create. That's that bit there. If I put it over to here, so we use that. Nudge it down a bit. I'm going to go into effects here uh, and I'm going to go into new uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, soften filters, Gaussian blur, and I'm just going to give it a very slight blur, um, and that's all that requires. Um, I lose it to 100%. To 50%, you can see, you can see the final photograph, uh, and I can see in the main that you think that's that looks pretty good. Um, possibly, you could have um, re trimmed that bit down here a bit. Um, what we do is cheat when you don't cheat. I'm 
get uh, a complete shape, combined shape, some track shape there, so there. And then I'm going to fill that now with, just put an eye pick under there, take that line off it, give it a bit of a slight feather. carry on messing, slicing and dicing and everything else uh, as long as you want. Anyway, uh, well, that's how I did it. I uh, hope it helped. Um, one of the big problems now is this uh, this new squashing problems and having to hold down an old key just to do a job that's always been done quite easily before or without having to hold down an old key. Anyway, there it is. All the best. Anyway, it's a nice photograph that as well, but you like working on that. This is Egg. Cheers. Bye.